what's going on guys it's chase welcome back to a brand new video today we're going to be taking a deeper dive into the new operator within shifting tides wame now before we get into this video i do want to remind you guys that i do have a discord that you can use to join in the link in the description it's probably the best way to contact me and just play with me so yeah go ahead and join and if you're new to the channel subscribe but let's go ahead and get into this so starting off wame's weapon kit essentially consists of the AUG A2, which is an assault rifle, and then the MP5K, which is an SMG. I prefer the AUG just because, you know, it's an assault rifle, but some do actually fall for the MP5K, which is, you know, very accurate. As for the secondaries, he gets the Corrado's pistol, which, you know, Alibi uses very, very well. It's one of the best pistols in the game, and he also gets access to the P12, which is arguably another great pistol within Siege. For his secondary gadgets, he gets access to barbed wire and deployable shields. Not the best, you know, he could have impact grenades or nitro cell, but the barbed wire still does the trick. A lot of people seem to think that Wame is made to be, you know, a alternative to Jaeger, but that is completely false. In a way, he can be compared to Jaeger and he is very similar to Jaeger. However, his magnet works completely different. He gets eventually five of these that he can have out and active over time throughout the round. It's much like Legion's gadget that, you know, he regenerates them or gains them throughout the round. So you're going to be encouraged to anchor or just play off site a little bit not roam however don't let that discourage you from roaming he is a great roamer because of the aug you know it's an ar so it's going to be able to do good damage at long range essentially what his magnet systems do is they attach to a wall or any surface that they can stick to and then you know if an operator or an attacker throws a grenade in that direction or a projectile it will suck the grenade in and let it detonate there it would only be able to actually do one grenade or projectile and that's kind of the downside to him is he can't do multiple like Jaeger's ADS's can. However, I've seen some people do some crazy things with these as, you know, they don't destroy the grenade or projectile in general. They actually suck it in and let it detonate on the magnet system. So essentially you can make a defender make a brief mistake and actually end up killing themselves with their own grenade. Like I said earlier, within the clips, you can definitely see that he is very viable on any site. You know, you can use him very well. The only thing that's a downside about him is, once again, it doesn't destroy the grenades. It just detonates them again. So, basically, if you put them in an area that is, you know, a high traffic area for your team or a rotation hole or a mirror spot, you are definitely screwing over your team as it's just going to suck the grenade into them and potentially kill them. So you do have to be wise with where you put your Wame gadgets. I actually recommend, you know, combining him with a Jaeger. Both have really good weapons and both have, you know, anti-grenade, anti-projectile gadgets. So yeah, this was just a little bit of a deeper dive into Wame and clear up some of the confusion around how him and Jaeger are the exact same operator because it's not the case at all. I love Wame actually, I can't wait to play him more and I feel like he's definitely going to be the better operator from Shifting Tides once we learn how to use him. So let me know what you guys think about Wame down in the comments section. I'm loving him like I said and I will see you guys later. Peace.